Now before the video starts, I just want to say a quick thing. Now I know in the beginning I say that it's like the top 8, it's actually the top 9. It was just halfway through that I remembered about Walking Dead and I was like, I should really add this in. So yeah, that's why the numbering system throughout might seem a bit off, but then I fix it later on. Um, so yeah, it's actually a top 9, sorry about this. If I keep saying that's like a top 8, or if the numbering system seems off, just deal with it. Um, my brain wasn't thinking at the time and I completely forgot a show. So yeah, now let's, now I'm just gonna let you get into the video. We're 8, and that is Marvel's Agent Carter. Now, I know a lot of people might enjoy this show, but in my opinion, I couldn't watch more than up until episode 4, I think it was. Because I understand that throughout it, it has the theme of, like, a uh, woman hero and the usual tropes that they have where it's, like, the male character saving the female character. But in my opinion, it was way too much. And, I don't know, just the old theme I felt with, like, Captain America, the first Avenger, I mean, it was all right, but when they're trying to, like, overdo it, and all these other characters, like, Howard Stark, I don't really care about, Jarvis, I don't really care about, um, Agent Carter, meh, um, I already just wasn't interested in the whole show, so I stopped at episode 4. I know I had 8 episodes, one day I might go back and watch it and it might go higher up my list, but in my opinion, it's meh. Um, now let's get on to number 7, which is Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, this the premise in the beginning would have been great, right? Because it's about Agent Coulson, which I love the actor of Agent Coulson. That's one great thing about the show. And there's a character in it named Ward. I love his character and what happened to his character. But I just mean, like, they'll have crossovers with it. But one was with Thor the Dark World. And it was just them cleaning up after and just two of the agents saying how hot Thor was. That was like the only crossover. Another one was with the Winter Soldier, which was just Hydra being gone. Um, I mean, that was an interesting episode. Yes, there are some interesting episodes, but um, the ones higher up the list, I personally prefer. Now, yes, they might, they will have their faults, but this, in my opinion, has more fault. One thing with the Marvel movies is they don't kill off characters. Or, I mean, they do kill off characters, but they just come back. So that was one thing that I was sort of peed off about Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because in Avengers they killed off Coulson. What happens, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he just returns. Um, now what I would have loved is, I know this would never happen, but if it was like maybe just a eight episode thing, and it had like Hawkeye, um, Black Widow, and more of the agents type, like they introduced Mocking, but I enjoyed her character, but if they had a load of those sorts of things, and it was like an actual agent that you cared about. So yeah, they're agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so then maybe a mission with them, like they maybe had to save them, or like the Hawkeye or Black Widow had to save the agents, and then like there's like this quick thing of that they're told that they've done some like training with them, and that sort of thing and just other things like that. Um, now, next on my list is Gotham. Now, I enjoyed Gotham. Uh, a lot of people made fun of it. Just, I can understand why people make fun of it. Uh, there's certain characters that I hate. I hated the character of Fish Mooney. I understand that they need like female characters and that sort of shit. But I was, I wanted, like, I love the Penguin of, I love the character of Penguin. I love the character of, what's his name, Jim Gordon and Harvey Bullock and that just whole thing. Uh, I really enjoyed this show. Um, they're even five, four, five, and six can just be, like, shipped and, like, changed around and that sort of thing. 
Um, but yeah, uh, like, I just think the whole thing with Bruce Wayne and them trying to bring him to Batman way too quickly, it's like, at this point, he's like 12? No, he's probably like 14, 15. And he becomes Batman much later on in his life. Um, the at the end of this season, he finds what th what I'm pretty sure is like a bat cave sort of thing. But I think it's way too early for that sort of thing. He hasn't even put on the cow. He's not even old enough to put on the cow. I swear to God, if they make him put on the cow much earlier, and in my opinion, just the actor, just I mean, I like the person playing Alfred. Just the Batman, I just don't get the scenes. Um, uh. Catwoman, I don't know, I just don't like her character. Uh, so, yeah, that's my personal. I enjoy the show, just some of the other characters and things that they've done doesn't interest me. Um, so, yeah, let me move on to number five, which is Constantine. Now, this only had one season, and on the show it was cancelled, but I thought it was great. It goes into the more the magical and, like, magical and spells side of it. So, it's about this character, John Constantine, and he's, have a, he's, uh, like, he devils with the dark arts, and he's, like, so he can, like, possess people, put demons inside, take them out, so there's that really cool thing throughout the season of that cancelled. I think that if they could add it into the arrow and flash universe then they've got that magic side and i'd love to hear like constantine and arrow like talking or like or uh, like flash and constantine joking around um i think constantine is the character worth because he like doesn't care he he jokes or like he makes fun of people and that sort of thing uh and yeah uh he also did the voice from for Black Flag and I love that game so that's just another thing I know it has nothing to do with the show but I just thought I'll put that in there but yeah I enjoyed Constantine very much just it was short lived because it was cancelled and there isn't going to be a season 2 I hope someone like Netflix picks it up because Netflix have shown they can do well with Daredevil and I think that would be a cool thing to see and yeah, uh, that's on my views on Constantine. Uh, number four is I Zombie. Now, at first when I heard about it, I thought it was gonna be one of these like chick zombie bullshit. Sorry for my language, but I just mean the like maybe Teen Wolf, Supernatural. What's another one? Vampire Diaries or one of those crap. Um, but no, I actually enjoyed this. Uh, it's about uh. Liv Moore and uh, so she worked as a doctor doing very well in life and then she went to a party and this drink made everybody turn into zombies so like she was infected or scratched or bitten or can't quite remember what I think it was like scraped on the arm so then she has to work in a morgue but it's not like typical walking dead zombies where she's like yeah um it's ah oh, fuck that's what I have to add in sorry Forgot to add in Walking Dead. Uh, sorry about this. Yeah, so let's get on. Um, and she's basically, it's not like the usual Walking Dead zombies where they're just like, and all of this. It's where if they can turn like that, but if they eat brains, then they can stay like human like I know they're pale they're, they're pale but they can like function well as a human like work and this sort of thing and so it's but when she has it she has visions and she takes the trait of the person so like maybe if they knew how to speak Russian or Romanian that happens in one of the episodes she could like speak it fluently and like if and she can get she can get those sorts of advantage but then she can also get disadvantages um so if it's like an alcoholic she's now addicted to drink so she can't function well 
but that means she works with a detective Babanoff and she solves crime. Oh no, computer, don't do this. Uh, computer, don't open anything, I swear to god. Um, so, sorry about this. I opened a disk tray and I thought something would open up. So, god, I just lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so she solves a load of crimes and that sort of thing, um, and there is also a guy selling brains to people and infecting them and then break, making a brain, so then he's, she's trying to take out him. But I really quite enjoyed the show and the characters, and yeah, I really enjoyed the show, I wish more people watched it. I know there was a big fan loving for it, because when I saw like the latest clips, a lot of people were saying, love this show, we're going to miss this character. Or this character is cool, this character is not, and this sort of thing. So there's a big following for it. Now let's get on to my... Oh no, I've now put it all out of order. Fuck. Now because I added in The Walking Dead, it's now all out of order. But when editing the video, I will put it into the right order. Just because I'm a retard. Hmm. There we go, so now we go on to number four. Yes, I know all the numberings messed up. My brain wasn't working this morning, okay? So number four is Arrow. Now I enjoyed season one. I loved, loved season two. It had Deathstroke and that sort of thing. And season three it had Rochelle Ghoul and other characters like that. Not as good. Um, Season 2 has to be my favourite. It introduced Flash into the universe. Um, Deathstroke. Black Canary. Black Canary. Yeah, Black Canary came in in Season 2, I'm pretty sure. So it introduced a load more characters. Um, season 1 introduced Ench Enchantress. Yeah, there we go. The Dark Archer, which is played by John Barrowman. I love his character. He's a great actor. I remember watching him back in Torchwood. I loved Torchwood. And in Doctor Who with the 10th and 9th Doctor, I'm pretty sure. Uh, just the latest Doctor Who episodes are pretty meh. But that's for another day. If you want me to start talking about Doctor Who, tell me down below. But, ugh, yeah. <coughs> oh, but, yeah, um... This show does have its flaws, like in the be in like the beginning parts of the season, it's the usual villain comes along, they beat the villain. Um, but then it gets more into a story that the whole thing with Slade Wilson was I'm not gonna tell you his exact backstory, but because of something that happened to him, he's going to make sure that he that Oliver Queen Arrow has utter despair and when he's lost all his loved ones and that sort of thing then he has his permission to die i really like that whole thing throughout season two just season two alone is the reason why it's this high on my list and there was a shock factor during the mid season um of arrow in season three that i loved um i've added a lot of characters like Speedy, Arsenal, Black Canary, they introduced Flash, like in a sort of origin sort of thing, quick thing, um, great supporting class like Fel Felicity, Deagle, uh, they're great characters, I love them, I especially love Felicity, um, uh, so yeah, let's get on to number three, which is The Walking Dead, which I slotted in here. Now, The Walking Dead, I love The Walking Dead, some dull episodes, like, Season 2, I hated season 2. So goddamn boring. We need to find this girl. Welcome to this farm. And then it turns out that like she's been at the farm the whole time. Yeah. So they left there. If just Carl's stupid. Look at the tip. <laughs> no, Carl. Um, season 1, I mean, was alright. Season 3. Yeah, this. Uh, it, it's a good series, just some series and some episodes are pretty boring. But other than that, I love it. I love, like, the whole apocalypse thing and, like, survival and that sort of thing. 
so yeah it's a great show and if you've been reading the comics I know some people may be saying the characters aren't as good as like in the comics but I enjoyed it and I can't be bothered to go through all those comics it's like 14 volumes all at 20 euro that's a lot of money a lot of money so yeah um, then we so yeah with great characters now luckily like the characters that annoyed me have been killed off and that sort of thing um, and yeah some of the characters are annoying but then luckily with Walking Dead they can be killed off just like that so and other things like that so I love the show um, the like zombies look great uh, the storytelling is great and yeah just I love it I love it so yeah now I move on to my number two I'm pretty sure it is yeah number two which is Daredevil. Now, um, I didn't see the original movie. Um, like, I didn't see the Daredevil movie with Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, Ben Affleck. And a lot of people said that that was terrible. So when the Netflix series come along, I was looking forward to it. And yeah, um, and the show was great. Um, my favourite episode, let me just remember what episode it is, sorry, I just have to quickly go on my Netflix. Now, I've watched this and it was great. The characters in it, just Daredevil was done so well. Um, at first, I wasn't sure looking at trailers that they could do his sort of abilities and powers right. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. But yes, he worked, because I think those sort of characters can work, like... I think Batman, if he had his TV show, that would work perfectly. Like, like when they did it back in the 60s, pretty sure. But it's because they don't have like big powers. If you try to do a Superman movie, that would cost a lot of money. But this way, um, it works and everything just works perfectly. The character, uh, the relationships between the different characters. Where is it? Netflix, there we go, Daredevil. Yeah, my favourite episode has to be Condemned. It's where the police are chasing him down and so they're chasing him down. Uh, he's like held up in a warehouse. So you have police trying to chase him around. He's trying to get intel out of this guy. Just overall, it has to be my favourite episode. Um... Now, I can't remember how many episodes there are. Oh yeah, 13 episodes, and what I loved was when it came out on Netflix, instead of having to wait week after week after week, and then like at the mid-season finale, then you have to wait like, like at the moment I'm waiting for Flash and Arrow up until I think they return in like September. No, it's like October time, and it's just so far away. And I just want it back, but this way it was all 13 episodes, an hour long, just all dumped on you. So if I could just, I, I, I got up to like episode nine in a day, and episode, no, I'm pretty sure it was episode ten, and then I watched the other three episodes. So I got headaches. I was watching it so much, and I didn't have any breaks whatsoever. But I just love the show. It did everything right. I'm glad that just Marvel are on a roll at this point. Um, I'm hoping DC can do the same. Like they've done well with their team. Now let me talk about number one, The Flash. Um, now Grant Gustin as The Flash, great. Um, the side characters, um, and then like just the villain, the villain in the reverse, Flash. There's a mystery behind who it is, because if you've read the, because I would look up all these theories after. There was all these theory crafting that made it so fun if you were watching it as it came out, and just things that helped the crafting and that sort of thing. Now I wasn't big into the comics, so I was like, what? Who the fuck is that guy? But um, as the characters, like people would hear last names 
or hints to things. They were very good at setting things up, like the future, because they have the whole t they have time travel, all his powers. The special effects are great. I'm I'm gonna edit in like a clip of him running, and I love it. So let me just put it in here. My name is Barry Allen. I am not the fastest man alive. That title belongs to the man who killed my mother. But not for long. That was too close. He told me to make it hard. Pretty sure he didn't tell you to make him dead. Remember, this is just supposed to be a training exercise to improve Barry's speed. Cisco, you gonna bring it or what? Bring it. There's villains throughout, like they introduced the rogues. Hopefully I can put up like a picture of the rogues like here. I don't know, I'll do it later. All the editing stuff is all up to me. You just get to watch the video and enjoy my thoughts. Um, there is the rogues, you have Captain Cold, picture. Um, so there's Captain Cold, uh, Leonard Stark, I'm pretty sure his name is. And I love the character throughout, uh, just a great actor, I'm pretty sure he was on Prison Break or something, I haven't watched Prison Break but I've heard that it's good. There is Heatwave, which is like a hot head which sort of works with his character really well and his name, and just the anger that he has. There's Golden Glider, which is the sister to Captain Cold, and she comes in later on. But she she has a gun that I'm pretty sure turns everything to gold. That's why she's called Golden Glider. Uh, but these are all like tech based. Now there are some which are actual like um, some use weapons which are more the smarter people. And then you have characters like Weather Wizard. Um, there's two Weather Wizards, uh, so they can like control the weather. They don't use weapons. They can actually do it with their hands and that sort of thing. Um, who else? There's Gorilla Grodd, which I have to say the CGI for him was great. Uh, I didn't think it would look as good as it did, but God, I, I think they did Gorilla Grodd well. Just the characters throughout, the side characters are great. Um, so yeah, if you want a great show, in my opinion, watch The Flash. Now it's it's only on season one, but season two is returning. And they're talking about like all the multiverse, so if you're a big Flash fan and you're not watching this, they're going to be introducing Jay Garrick, Zoom, um, Wally West, and other characters like that. So I'm really looking forward to Flash Season 2. Flash Season 1 was great, it's my favourite show. Now it was, it was difficult between Flash and Daredevil, but I had to go with Flash. I love the Flash. I, I watched it. I even watched the pilot when it was leaked 